so I think there are a number of techniques that people have been uh, working on for a while that um, will probably have a lot of utility uh, in the short term. So things like um, symbolic regression. My Kramer has been kind of working on this kind of stuff, and you know he was you know connected with uh, NYU and the Flatiron Institute and everything, and I've, I've connected with him as well. So yeah, it's it's really interesting stuff. This work on this kind of stuff going back decades. But it didn't work very well at the time because, you know, computers were not that powerful and everything. So there's been a lot of progress. I don't think this is going to produce systems that have the kind of insight that we're talking about, the kind of insight that, you know, Einstein might have had or or a lot of other physicists like Feynman or uh, things like that, and, and certainly not produce the, the theory, theory of everything just by itself. I think what's missing is much more fundamental. And so it's, it's the ability to construct mental models of of the world that you can that a system would be able to manipulate in its uh in its mind and use corner cases you know extreme cases i mean this is the kind of get on experiment that that you were talking about uh before that einstein was famous for you know having a mental model of uh, of something uh, making a hypothesis and then trying to push that model to kind of an extreme case and see like what's what's happening there or like the get on experiment that that people use very often to explain the uh, uh, time contraction due to you know, relative, uh, relative speed, right? So, uh, if you, if you observe someone on the train, you know, shining, uh, a light that bounces up and down through two mirrors, that person, the, the light, you know, goes at the speed of light and it just travels up and down a particular, you know, just the height of the, of the wagon. But to some, someone observing this from the outside, the light is, is bouncing up and down in, in diagonal, right? So is actually traveling. A longer time, but still at the speed of light. So it must be that time is contracting, right? I mean, that's a very simple, once, you know, a posteriori is kind of obvious, but, uh, but you have to make the enormous assumption that the speed of light is, uh, is the same for everyone.